Hello guys, so on today's video I want to show you how you can diagnose your uh, mobility scooter if it's not moving. So if your battery is fully charged, you turn on the ignition and you see on the battery display that it shows full battery, but you twist on the handle and the machine is not moving. So first of all you have to go on the back of the machine and look if your stoplight is not on. So for example, if you see the stoplight is on like this, that means that your brake handle switch is, uh, is in open position. So it, it cuts off your power to the main uh, computer of the machine. So you have either a parking applied or you have a faulty switch inside of the uh, brake handles. It's either going to be a right hand side or a left hand side. So let me show you an example here. This is a similar handle with a built in switch. So as soon as you uh, apply the brakes, it's going to open that switch inside right here. And it's going to cut off the power, interrupt your power. So if your brakes is not loose, brake handle is not loose, not broken, not pressed in, and you still have lights on the back, that means that this switch is faulty and needs to be either replaced or maybe you just need to adjust your brake handle so it will go back into the proper position and it's going to push that pin inside. So it's, it's on the both sides, you have a two brake uh, power switches built in on the both sides. Now, if you, if your brake handles are working fine, like if you press in the right hand side and releasing that handle, same as the right hand side, so everything is fine there, but your scooter is still not moving. So it can be a problem with the actual accelerator handle, uh, maybe, maybe some moisture got in. Or maybe that accelerator handle got damaged during the shipping or, you know, anything can happen because there is a, some uh, sensitive electronics built inside. Maybe that, that handle needs to be replaced. But how do you know that if this is the handle problem or maybe your main computer of the machine? So I will show you how to diagnose that. You will have to open up the seat. Remove those two screws right here and two on the bottom to lift up the tray. Okay? Once you lift up that tray, you will see your main computer of the machine. So this is the, this could be the problem or your accelerator handle could be the problem. So here is a way how to test it. You will need the multimeter for that. I have a pretty old one, but it's working fine. So if you have a multimeter, you have to have a, you have to set the settings on, for example, 200 ohms or 2000 ohms. It doesn't matter. If you have a you know newer multimeter that will have a, a outer range that is going to set it automatically, just put on the ohms. Okay, now, once you set this multimeter on the ohms, you need to look for the, the biggest plug between all of them with the six pins inside and unplug it. So, as you see, so this side, which is a female coming from the scooter itself, and this male side going into the main controller. Now you need to look for the two corner wires, which are the brown and white. Two of those, as you can see. I'm going to mark it for you, just in case you don't see it from this video. So you need to test this brown and white wire. Only those two, nothing else. So what you need to do, you're going to, with your probes, 
you're going to touch it those two wires with the settings on 200 ohms your ignition must be on but before you do all of that you have to take a, some kind of block like I do have and you have to put under the wheel so you have to lift it up one one side of your scooter so one side of the scooter the wheel will be in the air okay okay now let's go turn on the ignition well where is my key right here and leave it on on position so your display must be on okay now with your two probes let's touch those two connections the white and the brown as you can see the wheel is spinning which means the computer is fine and you have a problem with the accelerator handle so that's how you know that you need to replace it but if you touch in with your two probes two of those wires the white and the brown one and the wheel is not spinning then you have a problem with the controller in some extremely rare cases that would be the the motor but i will show you that in my next video okay i hope that was helpful for you how to diagnose if you have a problem with the controller or accelerator handle thank you bye